since I was about five, I decided that I would become a teacher and that that's all I ever wanted to do or be. So when I came to Arizona, it was 1982, I, I already had my university degree from the Dominican Republic and I was offered an opportunity to compete for a Fulbright uh, scholarship. So I actually came to Arizona State University as a Fulbright uh, scholar. I've been with the Maricopa Community College District since 1991. Um, so I've been the chancellor, it's probably my seventh promotion since I came in 91. So in the Valley, I have taught uh, for ASU and I have taught for NAU, but um, the bulk of my years are with the Maricopa system. So I've always been in administration positions and I think each position has asked of me to challenge myself in, in new ways and, and grow in dimensions that sometimes you don't even know you have. We have done a lot of good work with our partners, um, primarily Arizona State and uh, Northern Arizona University, uh, Grand Canyon and U of A and others. We have many, many, many partners, but the models that we have in place in the state of Arizona from Maricopa Community Colleges to Arizona State are actually nationally recognized transfer models. And then one part of transfer that is also a national movement, but I would say we probably got it done before other people, because everyone talks about it, it's not easy to do, is reverse transfer. And that is individuals that come to the community colleges and for whatever reason they did not complete an associates. Transferred to the university, and then eventually they complete the credits that were lacking for the associates. So we work with the three public universities and GCU and then we take those credits back and we award an associate's degree. The reverse transfer ha has been so important because we want people to have the credentials they have earned that could help them do, like I said earlier, either a better job or new job or even for some people a job, right? So the reverse transfer has worked really well and I, we have close to 700 people now that um, have gotten their associate's degree through that model. We have some um, key components of our mission as community colleges and, and workforce development is, is an explicit part of the mission of what we do. So what I hope for the colleges is a stronger, clear connection with the business community and shifting from what are we ready to offer and then you decide whether or not what we offer is what you need I want to shift us from that to what do you need and then how do we get ready to offer that. So we look at the reports from Arizona Commerce Authority, we look at the work all the chambers are doing and then use those to then develop some key strategies and partnerships. So what I would like to see is that we do more of that and that, that we do that better, that we have some clear pathways to employment that when we uh, engage in, in a collaboration with the business community is not as simple as, well, here are the certificates and hopefully they help you, but it is really creating pathways to employment. So we, we have a role to play, the business community has a role to play. Love nothing more than for the colleges to be top of mind in the business community. So when there's a need, people immediately think and believe that the Maricopa Community Colleges are the solution for the challenge.